Alright, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Funi Neptunia for the PS3. The PS3! And we're gonna go to Celestia. Well, not quite. We can't quite go to Celestia yet. But we are able to get the... We're, we're trying to get the weapons. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. So, um, I did more grinding off-screen. Uh, as you can see, um, here are our levels. Everybody's in, like, their 50s now. Except Neptune and Iffy. But that's just because i kind of been swapping Neptune and Iffy off on the sidelines, because they're, like, my two strongest partners. I say partners like this Paper Mario. And if you look at my item list, uh, yeah. Yeah, I have, uh, almost 900 detoxins and almost 700 of the other things. Uh, I, I also seem to be lacking in eject buttons and reset buttons. That I'm gonna have to get at some point. Um, another thing I have to show is Neptune has this badass looking sword. So I found this in one of the level 600 dungeons. Or whatever the hell level they're supposed to be. Here's the thing. I'm not supposed to have this sword. Compared to the Demon Blade Rain, and it's like a 15, it's like a 1600 power difference. <laughs> I'm not supposed to have this sword. However, that dungeon was very weird, because most of the enemies in there were enemies called Golden Dogs. And Golden Dogs, they are they have a shit ton of health, but they only do like a hundred damage for some reason. And since I'm able to tank them, I was able to survive half the encounters in there. And I, that's how I got a crap ton of money. The other thing is, the enemies that weren't Golden Dogs, they would like one-shot me. So if I ever saw like an enemy that's not a Golden Dog, I would just run. And I would like try to get to the end of the dungeon. And I ended up finding this in a hidden chest. So, yeah, Neptune's kind of OP now. Like, I think she has the most attack out of anybody now. Yeah, it's not even a contest. She has 5,000. She has more magic attack than Kampa does now. So, um... Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I think the second strongest is Iffy. Iffy's the second strongest. Actually, no, Nisa's stronger, technically. So those are my top three partners right now, is uh, Nisa, Iffy, and Neptune, ironically. Well, to be fair, I, I do need to buy the extra weapons for all the partners. But, anyways, I think it's finally time we put on uh, 5PB and red. And I think we can swap Iffy back in. Actually, no, that's not what I... I, I swapped Kampa out, that's right. No, I actually kind of want to, um... I kind of want to put Iffy below Neptune. Because Iffy, I, I, I do want Iffy to get some levels still, because she's the farthest behind now. Which is, you know, shitty, so we're going to work on that. So, yeah. Anyways, my dungeon completion is now 66%, because I did pretty much all of the lane box dungeons off-screen. And I also did a couple of Wii dungeons off-screen. Uh, so, you're not, you didn't really miss much, honestly. But anyways, we have Brain Age Scare. IF is concerned about her forgetfulness. Compass just to train her brain. <laughs> Not good old brain training. I've been forgetting things lately. I can't even remember what I ate yesterday. What do you think about that? Oh, 100. I don't know. This is the 135th time? I forget. I'm, I'm losing track still. See, maybe I need to play Brain Age. Okay, I know. Why don't you try this brain training game? It's got spelling, math, memory tests, and so much more. Oh, I played that. It said my brain's age was 40 or so. 40? No way! Mine was 50! Mine was 60. Why don't you two play it more before suggesting it to me? T Wait, does that imply that Kampa is the stupidest in the group? That doesn't seem right. Snowman! Oh, we have a lot. We have a few white heart events. Delete. I wrote a really long detailed entry, but deleted it accidentally. I'm done. 
<laughs> That's so me, dude. That is so me. I hate when I just accidentally, um, delete shit. Someone made a snowman in front of my basilicon. It's actually kind of neat to see things like that. I miss the goddess blog. How come that doesn't show up in any other games? Really, it really adds to the world building of this game, doesn't it? Alright, snow forest and legendary weapon. The snowy forest still chills to the bone even with the goddess's protection. Despite the frosty air, the party is determined to find the legendary weapon. And 136 times. Yay! Snowy forest! Let's catch snowflakes on our tongues! Oh, one of the weapons is here, right? <laughs> I mean, Neptune, you already have a really OP weapon, so how about that? A snowy forest on Louis. Istoire did say that. But, I mean, everything's covered in snow. Yeah, that doesn't really help much, does it? This'll be a snap, fizzle, and plop. Right, Kampa? Oh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> I underestimated this place again. I should have changed into my wool panties. Oh, poor Kampa. <laughs> Kampa's freezing her balls off out there. Oh, yeah, and the, there's the lean box thing as well. So we're gonna go, um... We're gonna go to the Dis Snow Forest. You know, we've been here, like, a crap ton of times. Why is I playing this music? <laughs> it's weird. Anyways, we're gonna see 5 PB in combat for the first time. Which means I should probably edit her skills, because they probably all suck. Uh, we got... Let's see, Brave Sound? Sounds good. Um, Powered Smash, Dimension Breaker, Sound of Flargia, Requiem Fortissimo, Musical Sforzando. This hits eight times. Sounds pretty damn good. Rampage Rinforzando. This one combo this one combo links. Oh, actually not yeah. Let's have this one combo link and we'll have this one switch. There. Already off to a good start. Isn't this also a weapon? Well, we'll try it out. We'll see how I feel about it. My turn to do something? Does this place have a treasure? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. We're gonna use that periodically. Try me from any angle. Also, um, I had a weird bug. It might still, it might be still be in effect here, but for some reason, Red's voice is dead. I don't know what happened. Take this. Okay, yeah. it seems to be fixed now. Yeah. Yeah. But for some reason, when I was grinding off screen last time. Red's voice just stopped working randomly, and I don't know what it was. It only seems to have fixed itself now, because I reset the game, <laughs> which is really weird. Also, for some reason, the rumble is on now. I don't know why. I gotta figure out how to turn that off. <laughs> Actually, hold on a second. Okay, I think I turned off vibration. Let me, let me see if I'm right. Yeah, that seems to have fixed it. <laughs> My palms are sweaty. All right, bye, bye, frog thing. It's not even a real frog. It's like a weird frog thing. Okay, let's let uh, let's let five PB actually um attack. You. Oh damn, that's kind of awesome actually. Dude, that's so sick, actually. Ready for this? Musical Forzano! That's it's not over yet! That's really cool, actually. I'm the MVP. Why is that so much cooler than 
every other iteration of 5PB. She actually, like, strums the shit out of that guitar to attack. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't wrong in thinking that 5PB's voice is weird. Because it is actually a different VA. And I guess, like, for this first game, they kind of wanted to give 5PB a more acute-sounding voice. But honestly, I think I prefer the way they did it in Mark II and onward. I think Mark II and onward they gave her a new voice, or it could be Rebirth II onwards. I'm not sure when they changed it exactly. But, yeah. <laughs> also, I think this hits all enemies. There you go. <laughs> Red, Red's attacks are pretty damn good. There. Also, I love how that j that's like a gun. <laughs> it, it sounds like a gun. I don't think it actually is a gun, though. All right, you guys take. You guys done taking your turns? All right, I'm pretty sure like Neptune's just like really OP though. Chestbuster. Five thousand, yeah. Dodge and I'll hit someone behind you. <laughs> just do a crap ton of damage. Neptune's gonna carry these fights. Gotta aim for the head. What's musical? Right there. <laughs> it actually affects her, um, it actually affects her, like, guitar. Yeah. Here I come. That was a perfect warm up. Aw, oh, look at that. She's just as cute as she is in the later games, where she does her little pose at the end. Okay, well, I'm gonna fix up her combo skills, because we want her to start with a magic attack, because her physical attack is really bad. So, we're gonna fix this up. So, Brave Sound. Um, I think this one's her strongest. Yeah, and Heavenly Sound is the best, I think. No, this is the best. That's the best if you want to switch off, I think. This one is 100. This one's... This one's 70, but it hits 8 times. That's what I think makes it so good. Wait, Heavenly sounds better, actually. There we go. New combo. Yeah, we'll call it. We'll call. We'll give it a funny name too. We'll call it like. Oh, something dumb. We'll call it Hot Sune Mike. <laughs> a good. Uh, that's a funny reference to. Um, yeah, what's it called? Yonoid 2? Yeah. Anyways, let's fight- let's fight this guy over here. Why am I so bad at, find, at finding the monster call? Let's fight fair and square! Ooh, funny music. Wait, it did her voice break again? Her voice broke again, what the fuck? Her voice worked for one battle and then it broke. It's weird because Red is the only character I think that does that. And I still don't know why it happens. Wow, that's a lot of damage. It's not like this is the one- it's not that like this is the enemy that gives me 2 million experience. Alright, so we'll do musical. Brave sound. You ready for this? 
Yeah, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> Hits like a bunch of times. Next, please. My turn. All right, here comes Gust, and she still has her turn, so we can just do a crap ton of moves. Oh, I need—I need to have her. Um, I need to fix her triangle, triangle, her tr her triangle moves. I might actually fix that up then. So if, com if uh, it starts with triangle, we're gonna fix this up. <laughs> Gust campaign. Mm, super service. Which one of these is the best? I think it's this one. This one hits six times. I need to pay attention to how many times something hits. I think her best one is the 35... Wait, Gus's Drawing Song? Interesting. This is a physical attack, though. But I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll have that as a backup. And... This one. Is it... I think Special Service is better, actually. And then this one will be... So we'll have three different moves we can end it with. So, so Red's voice just broken again. We haven't, we haven't been going for more than like 20 minutes and her voice already broke. Is that like a known bug or something? Or what? Whoa! Not only did 122 damage... Why can't I hit you? So, I think it was... Which one switched off? Was it Circle? It's still my turn. Actually, I don't think it works that way. Let me see what else she can do. Shot combo. Circle switches. Isn't there a better one that switches, though? Musical words. This is a deal. Special service switches off. I actually kind of like having, like, three different options to end off the move. That's pretty cool. Do 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 do. Oh, wow, look how tanky Gust is. She has so much health now. <laughs> oh, it's too fun just to just keep doing Neptune break over and over. All right, let's do special service. This is a special special. A special special. Yep, that was pretty good. I need a little rest. I'll throw five PB back in and have her do something. Oh, but since she switches out with circle, I need to fix up her combo. See, that's the thing. We have to. I have to. I have to keep thinking about how I'm going to combo this stuff. Mm. Pretty sure that's the best one. Brave sound. Yeah, that one. Heavenly sound switches off. That should be good. How do I switch red off again? I think, yeah, it's just triangle, triangle, circle.
Wait, your voice works again. Switch. That is very weird. I, I have no idea why it does that. Let's see. Let's, let's fix that Nisa skills too over here. Actually, no, because isn't it just triangle, circle, triangle, triangle? Oh well. Well, he's dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. victory! Whoa! I can feel the energy. Why does Nisa get so much damn HP? Yeah, she got she got a hundred HP for that level up. Whoa, I can feel the energy. Cause ne Neptune only gets fifty. Weird. That's probably why the DLC characters are so damn tanky. I mean, I won't complain. <laughs> Having tanky characters is always a good thing. Oh yeah, I realized that all these episodes, you guys couldn't see the mini map because it's blocked off. But, um, I mean, honestly, you guys aren't missing much. I think the treasure is actually back over there. <laughs> oh, and Red's back to having a broken voice again. <laughs> Who knows what fixes it? That was it? That was the whole battle? Well, to be fair, 5PB doesn't have a lot of voices. It's hard to tell if that if her voice just broke, or if she, it's just missing a voice line, because there's a lot of voice lines missing for her, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but it's not a big deal. You think, um, you think Red would be the kind of girl to have a fidget spinner? <laughs> Seems very in character, honestly. Yeah, these enemies aren't really that strong. Easy. <laughs> Or as Neptune says in Rebirth 1, easy peasy, gonna end this quick. That is a very, that's, the, that's one of my favorite Neptune lines, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you keep swinging that sword, Neptune. Alright, just, just keep attacking. Oh no, the red fish is gonna get a turn. What will I do? I don't think I've set up 5 PB's items yet. Oh yeah, look at all- well, how many fucking item healing stuff that she have now? Heal water is a pawn battle. Wait, so she does this when the battle starts. Interesting. I drink SP, so this is when the battle ends. Self or single. So she can heal herself at the end of battle if she wants to. That's not bad. Healer pod. That's upon switching. Hmm. I drink nano. Upon damage, if you see she's 5% or less, restores 90%. You realize how freaking situational that is? Probably just this one's good. So I don't imagine she's gonna get below 30% too often. I mean, hey, pawn the switching's not bad either. This one costs more, I think. But sure, I'll give it, like, I don't know, a 40% chance to kick in. I 
Okay, give me all that. Give me all those reflexes. You got four tough mills. That's quite a lot, honestly. Anyways, enough counters. So where's this damn treasure at? Let's see what we find. Oh, over here. Okay, so I'm glad I came back here then because I would have missed this treasure. <laughs> Just gotta, just kinda, kinda wait it out, you know? Well, don't run around in circles, you're gonna turn the encounters done. back on. I think Gus' treasure search is better. You don't have to be so specific, like with Iffy. Okay, that was not worth it. <laughs> so I don't know how, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I'm working on a Toho death compilation for me playing Toho 6. And I've been working on it for a while. At some point, it will get finished. Like, when it comes to editing, I kind of just edit whatever I feel like. <laughs> nice item. Like, I, I I could go back and do Persona 5 Royal Highlights, but I just have not been motivated to do it because of how, like, not fun it is to watch that series. It's just not very enjoyable at all. So I just kind of choose to not edit it whenever possible. Instead, I edit stuff like, you know, Toho 6 clips and stuff. Lucky day. Uh, I'm gonna guess there's a boss here, so I'm gonna save. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Might get screwed over by the boss. If there is one. What's all the racket? So noisy. You high schoolers have no manners at all. What? How'd you conclude we're like high schoolers? Are you saying we're young and innocent but mature looking? Just stay away. This forest isn't for sightseeing. I'm busy excavating, so I've no time to waste. What you digging up? Ancient burial site? Bonus dungeon? Who are you, anyway? I am a historian. I'm looking for the trust spear that belonged to the hero Miyamoto. <laughs> Miyamoto? <laughs> God damn it. Well, that's another... That's a reference. I'm putting that in my screenshots. It's widely known the spear he threw could pierce through any material at an ungodly velocity. I think his name definitely deserves to be listed as one of the four heroes. Okay, enough useless oh, trivia. Oh, the plot. Find anything? <sighs> My intuition tells me this is the place. Why are you so cruel? His voice sounds familiar. <laughs> That's a no. Isn't Kampa? <laughs> Looks like this forest ain't no good. Um... What's all that scattered stuff? Junk I've found thus far. Take whatever you want. It's a pain to clean up after myself anyway. Ah, there are so many foreign-looking shiny metals. What's this one? Huh? Oh, th that's the end of the spear. You can see the Miyamoto seal of quality engraved on it. The Miyamoto seal of quality. So it's part of what we're looking for. Sucks you overlooked it, huh? Awesome! Let's head back! Brr, I want to take a hot bath and drink some hot cocoa and eat some hot pie. I'm all mm, for that idea. Hot pie. But you really should curb your sugar intake. My hands and toes are all numb from the cold. We got Trust Spear Butt Spike. That's what we're calling it? Wait, girls! Are, are you really taking that with you? Is it okay? You said we could take whatever we wanted from the pile of junk. Ugh, the biggest mistake of my life, trusting <laughs> high schoolers. But I'm a man of my word. Looking for the quartet arms? You sound like you know more. Tell us something more useful this time. I heard the guild extremists were ravaging some ruins recently, looking for some treasure. All right, that's some good lead. It might be worth checking their hideout. Hmm, the guild extremists? Let's drop by then. Well, from what I can gather from playing this game is, we hate extremists. <laughs> you, you girls are... Huh? I thought this was the extremist side out. What are you doing here? The extremists disappeared. We're cleaning up, but the amount of stolen goods is shocking. We're looking for the hero Miyamoto's weapon. Have you seen anything like that? Well, not that I know of, but you can look around all you like. Oh, 139 times. Hmm, that history 
Italian fella said Miyamoto's weapon was a spear. Right? You know, the the family few ding sound effects not even supposed to be part of the counter, but I'm just doing it anyways out of habit. <laughs> it just kind of became like, you know, like, eh, whatever, I'll press it. Just look for some big wood or a long stick or something. Let's see. Hey, let me see the butt spike we got in the forest. Why is it called the butt spike? Okay. You're not gonna take it and sell it for a quick cell phone case fix, are ya? Duh. Don't be a fool. Look at this crest and that round plate over there. Oh, it has the same crest. Does this belong to Miyamoto too? No doubt about it. This must no be doubt. a guard. See? You slide the shaft through here, then attach the blade. Well, that was easy. We got the parry guard. Sounds like you found what you wanted. I've heard a story about the hero Miyamoto before. Really? Oh man, I so totally want to hear it! After fighting the goddess, Miyamoto lost his lover to the king of this area at that time. He challenged the man to many duels. I heard the weapons he used back then are stowed away in a cave on Louis. You might find something else valuable there. Guess we're going there next. Another cave. Oh dear. <laughs> nap nap. Did you hear that? Why are you complaining now? We've been through so many dungeons. <laughs> monster alert. We gotta hear we gotta hear her thoughts on the monster alert. It's like a red it's like a red alert. You know, amber alert. Sounds like another violent monster appeared. Seriously, people, stay away from the islands. What if it's like a Sim City situation where Bowser's gonna come attack the city? I have not checked in Hi Fi Radio for a while. I haven't been that interested in doing it. But let's see, how much Moonie do I have? I got lots of Moonie now. Alright, well, let's, buy, let's first stop and buy these. I don't think I have enough for any weapons. I mean, <laughs> if we look at if we look at Gus's best weapon. It's 105,000 credits, which is probably the most expensive weapon I can think of. Well, these are pretty expensive, too. They're not really that worth it. I mean, I still have... Wait, oh, you know what? I haven't really upgraded, um... Wait, what weapon do I have on 5 PV right now? Do I only have the PV 500? I think I was gonna save up for this. So, no buying items right now. To be fair, I didn't really use any items in that dungeon anyways. So, I think we're okay. Immoral princess. They arrive at a cave and search for a weapon part, but run into a vaguely familiar princess. Where's the princess? You know Hotel Mario is a good a good game when Mario, Luigi, and Bowser are all voiced by the same guy. <laughs> Which isn't saying much considering Bowser has like a laugh and like maybe one line of dialogue and that's it. And 139 times the song's played. Uh, who are you, tramps? Princess Pear. <laughs> huh? What's this girl doing here all alone? Excuse me, what are you doing? I I'm sorry. Oh, please, please forgive me. What? Forgive you? Did you do something naughty? I believed in him. I knew he was coming to find me, but I couldn't keep waiting in a different castle. Is please, it? don't tell the plumber I'm happily living with another man. <laughs> I don't know who you're even talking about. Oh, I ask this of you. In exchange, have this. It's the Hiro Miyamoto's Trust Spear. It's just the shaft, but it's the real deal, I hear. My boy toy said he found it here. I'm sure it's quite expensive. Hey, you shouldn't give other people's stuff away like that. Plus, don't you feel sorry for your ex-boyfriend? Idiot! Come <laughs> on, shut up and... Ooh, this has the same crest. It's definitely Miyamoto's. I'm so, so sorry. I'm no longer pure. I can't even say I'm a princess or anything now. Wow, this is like the bad ending where Princess Peach cucks Mario and becomes evil. We, uh, we got it. We'll not tell a soul 
careful about this, so have a, a great life. <laughs> Obtain trash spear shaft. That wasn't even a dungeon, dude. That was just we went into a cave and we got a spear. Whew, I'm glad we found it. How could you just take that from her? Oh, 140. We sold our noble hearts and good intentions for this. She betrayed her ex-boyfriend. This isn't the time to care about something like that. We've got our priorities too. Yeah, we got priorities. We're still missing the spearhead. Oh, we gotta find that then. Dwar said to look in a snowy forest, so. I don't know. Are we gonna do another dungeon, or is this gonna be, uh, you know, that? Oh, hell yeah! We get to go to World's Labyrinth Three. It's only level twenty-five. Boxing battle. Neptune's words infuriate IF. How will they choose to settle their dispute? Ify, have you been gaining weight? Shut up. I still look a lot better than you. D What's that mean? I was just being an honest Girl Scout. Are you denying my kindness? Please don't fight. Nuh uh, no way. I ain't gonna let this slide today. You're always busting my chops. That's because you're so incredibly difficult. I'll crack open that head of yours to release all that air. This is an explosive situation. They won't listen. No fighting. Time for Special Forces Compa to mediate. Oh, 141. As an officer of the peace, I suggest you settle this with a boxing game. I know that one. You hold the controllers like gloves and move around, right? You can play bowling with it, too. Yeah, real fights are a no-no, but you can release all the stress you want in this game. It's a deal. I'll show you my golden left hook. Bring it on. I'll show you my golden friendship sunshine uppercut. <laughs> oh great, this fucking music. Let's begin. In this corner, Team Red, the troublemaker from the sky, Neptune. Ooh, nice one, Kampa. And in this corner, Team Blue, the moody moneymaker, IF. What did you call me? Heaven or hell, let's rock. There, hee -ya. Ah, tia. Ah, I'm getting so sweaty. Yeah, this is a pretty awesome workout. I love this fucking music. This is like La Dele Dele on crack. <laughs> Ooh, look at them! Oh, wait, wrong voice. Oh, look at them having fun. I'm glad gaming helped them make up. Should I count this as a... Uh, should I count, put this in encounter or not? I don't know. It's, it's technically not the same song, but... I don't know. It's kind of weird how little that song actually plays. We've only heard it twice in the whole game. It's really weird. <laughs> Miyamoto's partner. With big round eyes and a spiky green shell, a dragon who claims to have been the hero's partner appears in front of the party. Aw, oh, great. Can't wait. Where's the princess? Oh, okay. We gotta save. Alright, time to search for treasure. But more importantly, should I go this way? My turn to do something? Um. Well, it says there's a treasure over here, so I'll I'll take a chance. You know, it's like it's like the uh, you know, it's like the lyrics of Doctor Stewart's theme, where he says, "Take the chance." Looks like Red's voice is still broken. <laughs> it worked all of last episode, though. Which is weird that it doesn't work now. Okay, I, I, I'll promise I stopped bitching about that. Red fish. Oh, okay. They're, they're just dead. It's too bad Neptune doesn't go first. Because otherwise she would have been able to, um... 
She would have been able to kill those guys in one turn. Hello, treasure, where are you? My turn to do something? Uh it says the treasure is over that way? So this is a dead end then. And the camera's being all weird. <laughs> Yeah, so I maxed out all my reflexes. I can't pick up any more of those. Wait, five PB's voice break too? What the fuck, man? What the hell is up with that? Dang. Dang, that dude's getting beat the fuck up. Right, bye. <laughs> hmm. Again, I'm slicing junk. <laughs> Good on you, Nip Nip. All right, let's uh, let's call on Evil. Come out, Evil. Maybe it's Doctor Evil. <laughs> no sweat. Boom. Maybe I have to swap her out. I don't know. Sometime, sometimes I fix it. Alright, you're dead. <laughs> Man, do I love this damn sword. We haven't fought a single boss yet. I'm waiting for it. Uh, here. Na, 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 do, 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 do. I wonder when Nep Nep's gonna use a potion, you know? That'd be pretty nice. Oh, we're still going! <laughs> Let's gonna defend with Nisa and let Neptune do all the work, because it'll be faster this way. Speed run. You gotta speed run it, you know. Especially because we, you know, get the first turn. Our party rules. That's a lot of experience and money. Holy shit! Twenty thousand credits. I mean, at this rate, I probably could buy all that, all those weapons, if I try hard enough. Okay, well, we know the treasure's not down here, so we can probably skip past this. I mean, the treasure's probably not even that good. Yay! But I'll never know unless I actually, um, you know, go there. Like, unless I actually come up here, um, we won't know. Okay, let's try searching now. My turn to do something? It says the treasure is over this way. So it's probably closer to the end of the dungeon? I, don't know, I always find the treasure search kind of confusing. It never never exactly goes in the right direction. Oh shit. We can we gotta break stuff. Ready? Boom. Oh. This is why having Neptune and Red is good, because I can do this. I can do it back to back. What's this? Mm, our gelatin is nice. Alright, where's the treasure at? My turn to do something? Wait. Wait, the treasure was? Wait, where the fuck is the treasure then? It was actually back at the start? Okay, I guess we're not getting it then. Anyways, let's uh let's go over here. And we're gonna get Louis we're gonna get we usually get like the sword in like about an hour or so. Wait, where's the boss? Why is the boss like tucked over in this little corner? <laughs> Alright, let's fight! That's weird.
Boom. Oh, this guy's got a lot of health. How much damage are you gonna do? Uh, oh. It's only over. Oh. Give up. Also, I forgot Neptune. Oh my Can god. Jesus, okay. I really hate that you can't, like, exit out in the middle of the fight. You just have to die. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Alright, I'm back. Um. I think starting the battle with Neptune's kind of a bad idea. <laughs> Is there one that heals Neptune upon switching? Uh, this seems to be the only one, I think. Is 1800... I don't think 1800's below 30%, though, is it? I mean... It's worth a try. <laughs> I mean, we don't have much else to spend this on. Oh, wait, 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 I got, I got a better idea. Let's do Happy Potion. There we go. Let's try that. See how that goes. Also, did I forget to turn streamer mode back on? I sure did. Dude, I love when I forget to turn that back on. My dumbass always forgets. Okay, there we go. Let's try this fight again. Do, 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 do. Item, item. There we go. <laughs> now she has the heal status. Full break. Mm, yeah, she definitely healed a bit there. We're gonna have her switch out though. But I need to remember how to switch Neptune out. Um, Dual Arts can switch her out. Critical Edge can switch out. Oh, wow. Neptune has a lot of new moves, I just realized. But none of them are as good as, um... Oh, wait, she has Golden Axe. <laughs> That's a magic attack, though, so it's not gonna be that strong. Pay attention to the power. I mean, I mean, Neptune's magic is good, so I could try Golden Axe. Let's try it out. Switch! All you now. My turn. All right, here comes Iffy. Did you think that was it? Did you think that was it? Not bad. All right, let's see. Let's see how five PV handles this. Right there. Brave sound. Be good for breaking guards. At least one should hit. Yeah. All right, let's do. I think it's, I think Rampage is the one that, I don't know if this one switches or not. Listen to my heart. Boom. Yeah, that one does switch off. Okay, good. Not easy being an idol. Don't worry, Gust is here. Gust is here. I learned from a fairy. Oh, damn. Not done yet. Look at me switching off like a bass. A badass. Bass? I was trying to say boss and badass at the same time. I just turned into bass.
All good. One hundred ninety-three damage. That attack does like nothing. Ow. Jeez. Do I have an easy way to switch Ithia? Um, probably triangle, triangle, triangle would have something good, right? Mmm, combo link. Soul combo. Can you read my moves? Alright, switch back to Nep Nep. My question about Nep Nep is she gonna is she gonna heal when she switches back in? Oh no! Her regen is gone. Oh shit. That's really bad, actually. <laughs> so it only it, it she only gets she only gets the uh, regen as for as long as she's in battle. That's not good. <laughs> Gun. Shoot! Oh shit! I didn't guard. Okay. Am I fucked? Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. Oof! I don't like this dragon, man. That was close. Okay, thank God. Thank God, Netbull can still kick in. Okay, we're fine. Alright, so Heavenly Sound is the one that, um, yeah, that's the good one. Final stage. Hatsune Mike! Not easy being an idol. I think they both switch off, actually. <laughs> Game here, East Hall. Yeah, uh, we'll see Gus's drawing song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She points at the enemy. When in trouble, call on Gus. Oh, that's like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. That was a really good ass move. What the hell? What do you think? I learned from a fairy. Oh crap. She can't guard this turn. Actually, she'll be fine. She's got 6100 health. Guard break out of that. Let's fucking go. Here's my special. That is a really good special, though. <laughs> Let me stand back for a bit. Sorry for the wait. Nisa is here. I this is the pain of gaming. Oh, yeah. Here's Dark Sword X Slash. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. But it's pretty fucking awesome. There's a few moves I unlocked off screen and I tried out. And they're really good. Here's another one. We have I think we've seen VX Dream before. I'm gonna do it again though. It's just that good. That did like ten thousand damage. And it combos too. I won't miss. Oh, 
Alright, might be a bit late for this, but let's transform. We're just doing all of the cool shit in one battle. By the way, I did revert, um... I did revert Purple Heart back to her default look because, um... It, it gives her more strength. Oh yeah, we got new wings on her, too. And a new headgear. She's a maid now. <laughs> and she, she's got a Cerno Fumo on her now. So I, I changed her up a little bit. Eat this. Pay attention. I'm over here. Damn. Pay attention. I'm over here. This isn't playtime. Nine did I just do nine thousand damage? More. You awake now? Yeah, she is way too powerful for her own good. <laughs> Also, I need to fix up her combo, because a Golden Axe actually costs too much. <laughs> I might replace this with, um... I think Jumping Arts, because I think it'll be just enough. Keep, just keep kicking the shit out of him. We're doing fine, though. We'll probably never die if we have Nisa and uh, Gust on our team. Because <laughs> they're so tanky. 800, really? That's all you can do to me? Oh my god. A heroine's How do I switch off again? I think I gotta do this. Yeah, there we go. Take over, citizens! It's all you! Physical kick. Alright, there we go. We're doing a really good job, though. So I think if I do special service, it switches off. This is a special special. It's basically all about learning, you know, what moves do what. There we go. Yeah, I still need to fix that. I still need to give her a circle combo. <laughs> she looks like she's having fun with the guitar, though. <laughs> That's what matters. Ooh, laser. Big laser. It's like 100 damage. It's like nothing. Oh, you're gonna do it again? Okay. Sure, you do you, man. Alright, let's see, um... Let's see what Golden Axe looks like. For one, it's actually a game I know. Sorry, but it's too late. And my juice fell over. Fucking great. All right. Well, anyways, let's finish it off in style. This is my special. I'm going all out. Be prepared. Because quite honestly, this move never gets old. <laughs> Don't die now. I've got one last move to show off.
Boom. Yep. And he's dead. <laughs> nice camera. <laughs> yeah, she healed it. <laughs> she healed at the very end of the battle. 30,000 experience. That's like nothing, dude. What the hell? I so little experience. You don't have that much faith in me? All right, Aroni. We pummeled most of the beasties here, but no hero's weapon. This must be the wrong place. What a bummer. Dang. Could you be seeking the trust spear of a certain <laughs> hero? Oh, 141 times, I think? Spewie Spewie. A lizardy, crocodile -y. No, a dinosaur -y thing. D How in the. Well, this is Louis. Such things are normal here. Cool. I've never seen one before. Yes, sorry. I am indeed a talking dinosaur. <laughs> Thank you for ruining the precious ecosystem in this forest. <laughs> I love how it's like the most normal ass voice. It's like, hello, I'm a dinosaur. Hello, I'm Luigi. <laughs> he sounds like the Hello Mario version of Luigi. No need to apologize and no need to thank us either. Did you mention the trust spear? Do you know anything about it? Yes, of course. I played with Miyamoto a long time ago, along with my friends of assorted colors. Hello, Mario. I was once his partner. I've passed down stories about him, like how he became a hero. Why are you seeking his spear? To defeat a twisted goddess. All the monsters in this world are her doing. If you can tell us anything, please. I was pretty sure this was supposed to be a Yoshi reference, not a Bowser reference. I don't know why I thought it was Bowser. Then you'll use the same path the four heroes took to Celestia? You just know it all, huh? Fine. You may take this spearhead belonging to the trust spear. Yeah, spearhead. Yippee! I'm glad this dinosaur isn't eating us and pooping us out as little spotted eggs, <laughs> but giving us gifts instead. Well, that, that, that pretty much settles the reference. Nap, nap, look! It fits perfectly on the end of the shaft! Hero Miyamoto's trusted spear. Or trust spear. Don't underestimate the power of a goddess. Be careful and save this world, like the four heroes once did. Hello, Mario. They gave Yoshi like the most deepest voice ever. They should that should be Yoshi's new canon voice. Hello, Mario. It is me, Yoshi. Do you wish to ride my back? <laughs> I got 60,000 bucks! I can almost buy a new weapon. <laughs> almost. Now my question is, who would I want to upgrade? Because all of these are good. If I had to be honest, I honestly might just save up and get Gust's best weapon. It's so damn tempting. I- Oh wait! Hang on a sec, we got new armor! Oh shit, we're gonna need so much money. Oh no. Oh no! So you have gold bracelet now. I think that's the best armor in the game now. At least right now. Oh, but I think that's gonna take a while. We're gonna need we're gonna need to grind money if I wanna get that. I mean, how am I doing on my items? Because I haven't really used a lot of items. Cause I still wanna try and max out, you know, my Detoxins, tough mills, and gelatins. We'll get to work on that eventually. Who could really use the defense the most right now? In terms of defense, uh, well, obviously Kampa. You know what? Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna buy the gold bracelet for Kampa and Neptune, I think, because they're the only ones who really need it that badly. So new weapons for Neptune. Too bad I have the best weapon for her already. Yeah, because that costs a lot of money. And then I'll spend, uh, let's say I spend like 20,000 bucks on tough mills and stuff. That should be good. There we 
There we go. Now I got them up to the 700 mark. Get my reflexes back up, too. Alright, so I think we're done in, um... I think we're done in the Wii now. Yep. Bed sharing. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a, we have a cutscene with red. Although I forgot to turn the voices back on, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I think her, her cutscenes are almost done anyway. <laughs> oh, under 42 times. D I've got so many wifeys to share a bed with. <laughs> Number five is your bed. <laughs> that's a great, that's a great one. World info. Are we done with red? Is, is there no more red cutscenes? You know what, let's, let's do high five radio now. From Chairman Chairman Million, Hello 5 PB. This year's worst machine of the year was horrible. I didn't expect it to go out of control, but I suppose that made it the worst. You should visit the show next year. It'll be fun. Sounds interesting, but kind of unsafe. I'll come check it out if I get the chance. A letter from the screen name I Love Archaeology from Planet Tune. 5 PB and all her listeners. Good evening. Hey hi there. I'm sending this letter to thank those who are who helped me get to an area I normally wouldn't be able to reach. Thank you, Nep Something and her party members. Miss Nep Something, good work. Good luck on your research. I love archaeology. <laughs> this letter is from the screen name Hideo on Leanbox. <laughs> Why is he in Leanbox? Hello, 5PP. I'm writing this to thank someone. I hope they are listening to you somewhere on Game Industry. Thank you for defeating the Abob Pet Peace. Peace return to Leanbox thanks to you. I wish you a wonderful, fulfilling voyage. Thanks. What a nice story. I'm sure your words have reached the hearts of those people, Hideo. So the show is brought to you by Lightheart. Hi, 5PB. This letter is from the screen name Leanbox Parliament Sucksores. Guess what, 5PB? We beat the monsters in a last station ruin. So many people replied to our online invitation. They all did so well, especially these young girls. They were kick-ass. We'll keep protecting our land so you can perform safely anywhere, anytime. I admire your philosophy of protecting your own land yourself. I promise I'll put on a great show when peace returns to your land. This is a letter from a shop owner on Leanbox. I want to show my appreciation. To whom? Thank you to those who helped to find my lost employee. If you get a chance to visit Leanbox again, please come to my shop for a discount of some kind. I admire the people who helped him, but I admire him for showing his gratitude in a tangible way. I want to shop there too. Here's a letter from Griffin Hunter. Grand evening, 5PB. I guess it is. The Griffin hunting trend has contributed in keeping the peace on Leanbox. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all who's participated. I've noticed the change in Leanbox safety as well. It's all thanks to you guys. There's a few more I could do. A letter from screen name Minami from Leanbox. Hello, 5PV. My name is Minami. Nice to meet you, Minami. I want to tell you something cool. I was looking up into the midnight sky when I saw a ray of light strike a tower in Louis. No one believes me, do you? Of course. I wonder what the light was. Send me another letter when you find out. Here's one for four member Pure Man from Leanbox. Hey 5PB, I need your help. I've had a crush on this girl for a long time, and I finally asked her to hang out with me. It's a date, right? I'm gonna take her to your show at the end of the night, so will you sing a song for us? Congrats, Pure Man. My Leanbox show, right? Of course. I'll sing my favorite love song just for you two. A letter from Leanbox Sanctuary. Hello 5PB, we'd like your help today. Will you ask your listeners to report any kind of illegal disc distributors to the Sanctuary? It is all to make a better, safer land. Sure, I'd love to. Everyone, do as he asked and report those who are trying to buy or sell legal discs. It'll make the world a much better place. 
There's a lot of these, but I'll get back to those uh, later, but I like doing a few of those. They're kind of fun. It kind of reminds me of people who, like, do unboxing videos. Or not, not unboxing videos. Um, you know, like, mail time videos. You know, where people just get, like, a shit ton of mail from viewers and they just read their letters and stuff. I kind of like that stuff every now and then. But anyways... Uh, I guess we're going to Lean Box, because that's the last place we have to go before we go to Celestia. So, let's do that. Also, how's our progression coming along? We are done 74% of the events in this game. Crazy. We're also done 68% dungeons. I said we're doing a pretty good job, huh? How's everybody's strength look? I'm like... Mmm... Look how weak her power is. Yeah, I, I'd say we could definitely use some better weapons. Considering Red is nowhere near as good as Iffy or Neptune. Yeah. Damn, I don't really have a good weapon for Red yet. That's why she's not doing much. I only have the toy set light on her still. But I will save up. And eventually get her a good weapon. He's able to hold her own for now, though. The Big Sleep Experiment. Fat Guy 703. CJ falls onto a car from my highlights channel. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that video is hilarious. I think Seb will like the clip that I uploaded. So I kind of. I actually have a few clips going up on my highlights channel. Because I don't. I usually just upload clips whenever I find something that I find really funny, very funny. And occasionally I also upload clips from old series, too. Um, if I find something funny from that. that was close. Oh, oops. Uh, forgot to take that off. Hold on, I gotta fix that. We don't want- we don't want Neptune wasting shit like that. Willy nilly. I, like, super strong? Thanks for reminding me I should take that off of, of Neptune. Dude, I just wasted like 30 of every material. Fuck. Heavy Potion is only good for bosses anyway. Alright, let's save again. Anyways, hello. <laughs> we're gonna continue, and we're gonna go to- we're gonna go searching for shit to do in lean box. Master Idol production? I actually don't know if that's a, uh, cutscene for 5PB or not. Just to be safe, I'll switch it to Japanese. Well, actually, no, isn't it normally, like, at the bottom of the list? Uh, everyone gets excited over the idea of becoming masterful idols. Oh, no, this is one of those, uh, non-voiced cutscenes. What's with this crowd? Oh, it's probably something very, very interesting. Should we- wait. Should we ask? Hey, what's going on? This is an event which produ produces masters of idols. The top three girls among the contestants will be chosen, and their fans will produce and raise them in the great idols. You should try out for it, too. I'm sure they're still accepting entries. An idol trio? Are we really good enough to be masters, though? <laughs> 143. I think we gotta try. I bet you we'll win. You think so? You sure? Well... We're the main character, so maybe we will. Oh, for sure! Don't you think, Iffy? We're gonna be celebrities and stuff. Idols, celebrities... Ugh, not like my opinion matters. I mean, the idea's not bad, but why us? We need to think of a group name right now anyway. Okay, let's do this thing. Aw, didn't go as well as I thought. PB 
people have poopy eyes. I didn't really expect anything different, but it doesn't feel good as a girl to get rejected so quickly. It's okay. We'll just continue on with our journey to save these people's world. How sad. What, did Ify want to become an idol or something? <laughs> okay, I don't think there's actually anything else here. High five radio. We could do more of that, but listen to it in Japanese. How fun would that be? Oh yeah, let me talk about something yesterday that me and Jordan did. So we were test. I was testing out. Um, I was testing out Parsec on Jordan's computer for the first time, and it was really bad <laughs> because for some reason, um, there was like a five or six second delay on his computer. But we found out how to fix it. It turns out all we had to do was lower the FPS to 30, and we, it was able to control just fine. And I have no idea why that was the case. But that means that if we ever play anything on Jordan's computer, it's going to be at a 30 capped frame rate, which I hope you guys don't mind that. But it is very weird, and I don't know why it's like that. So, yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll save again. Anyways, let's go to Stella Mines, because this is where we gotta go. We gotta do what we gotta do. Didn't Isti say one of the weapons is in a ruin on Leanbox? So it's more like a cave than a ruin, though. Yes. She said that's all she knows for now. So, if this cave is a ruin, there's a chance it's here, right? Can I doodle on the walls? Would that make it more ruiny? I don't think it really works like that. Yeah, and plus you shouldn't, you shouldn't, um, what's the word? Um, uh, not plagiarize, vandalize. Yeah, you shouldn't vandalize a cave, nep, nep. Alright, here we go. Can I actually find the treasure this time? Wherever that's at? We find mm, the treasure is over this way. Oh, so we know I know where the treasure is already. Then, by the way, you know that 99 Nights um, quest? So it turns out that the enemies in there aren't actually that strong because <laughs> I went in there and the I was able to beat the enemies, honestly, not too bad. Yeah, Sphinx. Alright, nep nep, Let, let's kill these bastards. Wow. <laughs> As if this game couldn't get any more brain dead. Eight experience! Huh? Huh? Why eight? Why eight experience? Did they fuck up? Did they fuck up the experience charts or something in here? That just that seems like an oversight to me. Let's see what we find. Okay, it is in the, it is in this room. Here, let's uh, call the monsters. Let's fight fair and square. I don't want to deal with eight experienced enemies over and over. Do this alone. Why does Red outspeed Neptune anyway? If these are the only enemies in here, we're not going to get any experience in this dungeon at all. This is going to be a low-scoring dungeon. Essentially, we keep finding these stupid sphinxes. I don't want to just fight sphinxes. That was lame. 24 experience. I think that has, that has to be like the lowest amount of experience I've ever gotten from a battle. Okay, if I had to guess, the treasure is probably right here. Because that's where it's been in most of these dungeons. My turn to do something? Oh, they psyched me out. It's actually up there. 
actually in a different location for once. Let's see what we find. Where is it? It's right here. I was just barely not close enough. Let's see what we find. This is worth my time though, let's find out. Most of these haven't been worth my time, but you never know. This one's rare. Ooh, okay, okay, I like that. 20 of every, uh, 20 of three of the four bottles. That is pretty good. Um, I mean, that makes up for all that shit, that makes up for the shit that I wasted earlier with Neptune. <laughs> so I'll take it. Alright, I'm gonna assume if we keep heading down this path, we'll get to the boss. Ugh, but do we go right or do we go left? I, I'm, I'm gonna assume we go left. That's what my instinct's telling me. I found treasure. Okay, you can never go wrong with more reflexes, honestly. Oh, counters are gonna run out, though. Mm. Oh wait, there's treasure here. Lucky day. Yeah, five more reflex. I think there's gonna be one more encounter before the boss. Sad. Oh no, we made it. Okay. <laughs> wait, someone's there. I really hope it's not the tortured soul of a serial murderer. <laughs> St stay away. Get back. I'll use this if you don't do exactly as I say. Guild fugitive. Is that? It's one of R4 discs. Those things are everywhere. God damn it! Another R4 disc. Time for a battle. Surprise boss. And what the fuck is that thing, Orochi? Ten thousand damage. Right. That thing does so much damage, it doesn't really need to do much. Alright, let's defend. Ah! Twelve hundred. Why does that, why does that, like, poison breath do, like, nothing? It does, like, no damage at all. It's so weird. Oh, thanks for the guard break. A heroine's turn. A heroine's turn. Alright, switch off, then. Switch. You can count on me. Still have enough to combo into amusement waltz though. Which is too bad really. I love how much damage that does. It does so much. Alright. Hundred. Fourteen hundred, not bad. I say we're doing a pretty good job. Your legacy. I'll finish. Huh? Already? I can keep going. You can count on me. That's a good way to combo, honestly. 
Oh, and we're about to get another guard break soon. Take a big fat dome. I don't think we're killing him, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. Whoop! Aw, oh, dang it. Oh well, it was worth a try. Oh no, I got poisoned. Oh no, I took damage. Hasune Mike. Perfect. Perfect way to end that fight. Easy peasy. 280,000. That's much better. Wait. Don't kill me. We're not going to kill you. Why would you think we'd do such a thing? Oh, suddenly transformation. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I thought you were one of the Basilicom's pursuers. Basilicom's pursuers? Are you a guild member? Don't worry. Your goddess won't let another purge happen again. A goddess? She's finally arisen. Ten years after the purge, she's finally... You've been in here for ten years? What is this guy on about? You'll get sick and stinky if you stay in such a dark place. Go outside. It's safe now. Touch grass. No, I I'm fine. I like it here. It's private. So, don't tell anyone about me. All right, whatever you say, you man. Have this if you promise to keep my secret. It's said to have belonged to the hero, Gates. Gates. <laughs> That's probably a reference I don't get. The hero, Gates. One of the four ancient heroes? If so, we totally just lucked out. This is a hero's weapon? Looks like the grip to something. I don't know if we can trust this guy, though. Is it Bill Gates? <laughs> that could be possible. Then, let me tell you where the rest of the pieces are. I found this in a small shrine while wandering in a forest. I'm sure the rest of the parts remain somewhere in that forest. Am I still untrustworthy? I don't know, man. You look like a junkie. We have to trust you. We can't drag you with us. But make sure you go outside sometimes to get fresh air, though. I mean, to be fair, Bill Gates did make... You know... He did make Microsoft. So... That probably is what the reference is, actually, then. And I probably forgot what the other two references were. What are, do I, I have the other weapons, right? In the valuables. Oh wow, look at all these, uh, look at all these stuff, all this stuff I have. Stuff frog, stuff bunny. A stamp made to promote a cute, or a village. It has the like, image of a cute character on it. Popular among lonely men. Weed. Momus stamp. Oh, the shit I have. Holy shit, white keychain. Black keychain, green keychain, data storage keychain. Oh, we got trading cards? Interesting. Oh, look at all these, look at all these pins I have. Yuzusuki, Kudarogi. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who the other two people are. I think, I mean, Yuzusuki might be, um, might be like the creator of Sega or something. I mean, I can look. <laughs> who, yeah, who invented Sonic? That's a stupid question. Either that or I should like, you know, look up who invented, um, who invented Sega. <laughs> mm. 
Nah, I'm not getting anything that really says Yuzusuki. What about the Genesis? God damn it, my stupid keyboard is finicky. I tend to forget I tend to forget that um a lot of American people worked on worked at Sega. Like half of the stuff at Sega was made by American people. Which is very which is very true. Like, it's kinda like how Sonic 2 was mostly made in the US, and then Sonic C D was made in Japan, for example, because they wanted to make like two separate Sonic games at the time. And it's kind of funny how they still kind of did that in the modern age. Like how we got Sonic 06 and Sonic and the Secret Rings. <laughs> yeah. Kind of cool. And also Twitch broke. Fuck you, Twitch. Why can't I see chat? I just now see the message. Anyways, Zappy, here's your funny lesbian. Alright, please be careful. And we have Lost Forest. Hopefully nobody will get lost in the forest or one of the weapon parts is said to be. Alright, Motto Forest again. Uh, I, I get into the forest for like one second. This is the only forest that comes to mind. Stay where I can see you two, okay? I don't need you both getting lost. My question is, why is there a snowy forest in the middle of Lean Box? That makes, like, no sense at all. Oh, oh come on. 142 times. 142 times. How bland can you be? Getting lost in thick forests is such an old trick. That's, that's a reference to Lost Woods, probably. Watch it, or you'll jinx yourself and get lost first. Grandpa always said... Security is the greatest enemy. Well, it's always good to hear more from Kampa's grandpa. <laughs> Reach a specific area. That's it? That's all I have to do? My turn to do something? Well, my question is, where is this damn treasure at? Says it's over that way. Okay, well, at the very least, it's somewhere here. My turn to do something. Okay, it's definitely on the right side of the map then. Yeah, those called the monsters. Banger music. We oh, got another griffin. Ow. Ow. Oh yeah, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't even have to do Neptune Break, because Golden Axe kills it. Yet more red time. Behemoth. are so fun. <laughs> she has a box. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Why'd that do so much to her? Ooh, item time. Well, thank God we can heal. That did a lot of damage to 5 PV though, for some reason. 
Are you done? You done with your turn? Okay. <laughs> yeah, 5 pp has got no defense. By the way, Zeppi, I found Flandre's sword. <laughs> Off screen. And now Neptune has it. <laughs> Time to spam. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, Zeppi, I don't think you've I don't I also don't think you've seen Gus drawing song yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. When in trouble, call on Gus. the most wholesome thing ever. <laughs> Fondre's sword. It's Fondre's sword name, but it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't like the sword. There. Honestly, this game's gotten really good in the second half. <laughs> like now that I have all these characters unlocked, the game's gotten really fucking good. <laughs> I love that Red just defends herself with a giant ass book. There's something really funny about that. I'm number one. I'm awesome. Yeah, eleven thousand experience for that. I feel like that's actually less than what I got in the last dungeon. Oddly enough. Alright, well, let's see. Where's this damn treasure at? Where's that damn treasure? My turn to do something? Oh, hey, I found it. It's right over here. <laughs> Need red sauce. There's not a lot of red sauce, sadly. My turn to do <laughs> something? But I, 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 maybe I could find some on Reddit or something. Ooh, I like that. Hmm, I think we found the reach a specific area part of the map. Most of it is not safe for work. Oh, rip. Hello, hello, random beast. I've been waiting for a situation like this. What the fuck is this thing? Tiamat. Wait, isn't that just um Titania's Japanese name? Tiamat? I don't know what Tiamat means, though. Yeah. Don't go easy. <laughs> Let me stand back for a bit. I'll carry on your legacy. I know your weakness! I'll show you righteousness! This is the pain of gain and destroy! <laughs> Fuck TM, we have Diamond. <laughs> Who's arguably worse. This is the strike of justice! I'll finish you off! You can't convince me Nisa's not badass. I don't do this for fun! 
is my justice! You see how fucking sick that is? Oh, we're gonna bully 5 PB, are we? Not yet. Yeah, I can probably transform then. Going all out now. Nisa very nice with the moves. Also new purple heart, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Pay attention. I'm over here. I'll get you from the front. This isn't playtime. I've got this. Pay attention. I'm over here. I'll get you. Why Pearl Heart trying to be a maid? I don't know, maybe she is a maid. Also, here's a 5PB in action. He's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Yeah, guard break. I know you're weak. I'll finish. Huh? Already? I can keep going. My turn. All right, here comes red. Shoot! There. Gonna get ya. Come on, celebrate with me. I love the gun. The gun noise makes that so perfect. Alright, here comes Heavenly Sound. Funny Booba Girl. <laughs> That's her name now, Funny Booba Girl. Alright, it's time for a Gus drawing song. Yeah. It does a lot of damage too. A present? I learned from a fairy. Yeah, guard break, let's go. Here's a bonus. Would you like special item? Oh yeah, I forgot. Gus's healing is like actually amazing. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, stop it! I won't hesitate to use more. Thank God for netball. <laughs> this is my special. I'm going all out. Be prepared. Now, I've got one less move to show off. I love how she, I love how she shows off. Oh, hey, Jose. <laughs> he even had a pretty good time. <laughs> Where Purple Heart is just doing her badass attack. <laughs> Come on, let's... <laughs> 
Yeah. You just woke up? Nice. You know, it's like it's like 12.45 p.m. here. <laughs> carry on your legacy. Entering map. To be fair, this is like supposed to be like one of the last bosses in the game before like you go to Celestia, I'm pretty sure. This is the climax! <laughs> it's gonna be 3 p.m., damn. So late. Entering max power mode. All right, do your funny attack. Whoop. Whoop. A present? There. I'm being so generous today. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> Damn, that did a lot of guard damage too. It's still my turn. I learned. I love how all of those are just gust, like gust. What are they called? Like gust special or something? This is a special special. I need a little rest. Oh yeah, she heals when she switches in. That's pretty good. <laughs> this fight's gonna be over before we know it. Yeah, yeah hit him with the guitar. <laughs> There you go. And he's dead. Yep, that was it. <laughs> that was the battle. That wasn't enough to take me down. Level up! 350,000. 5 PB on stage. Ooh, that's, level up. that's gonna be a good skill. Alright, level up. She got heavenly potion. Oh yeah. I notice when everybody gets to level 50, they get like a pretty damn good move. I'm stronger! I'm gonna be stronger! I don't know if you learn anything after level 50, but I don't know, man. That'd be pretty nice. Wait, that wasn't. Oh, I think there's still. We still gotta walk a little bit. Oh, 142 times. What's up, Jose? Well, I would be remiss to not thank these gorgeous ladies for saving me. Who are you? Where'd you come from? We weren't trying to save you. Oh? But by defeating that monster, you most certainly did save me. Now I won't be late for my meeting with Sir Turquois. Huh? You know the aristocrat leader? What you going there for? I heard he's obtained some sort of rare item. Say, oh, would hell you like yeah. to purchase this here bow? It's hot. Wow, is it? Is that people responding to my, uh... My funny ram holding um, fire image from earlier. You want us to buy it? You're charging someone who saved your life? <laughs> a few days ago, I, I watched a video that parodies Back to the Future Part Two. Well, excuse G good me. on you. Then how about I offer a discount? Well, excuse me, deal. princess. Nap nap. I think we should stay away from people like this. They're crooks. What an outrageous assumption. I'm only taking an opportunity to sell this bow worth next to nothing at a high price. How could you That's basically scalping, I'm glad you're bro? Being honest, but we're not going to buy anything from you. Ha! Thanks. Honesty is my only strong point. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> in my party is an archer anyway. Right, Iffy and Compa? Yeah, we don't have any we don't have any bow units. Oh, don't be like that. It's about 2015. It's good to have an item just in case. What do you say? It's cheap, but the quality is top notch. Get out of here, old cootie bag. We don't want <laughs> it. We're gonna have really mad faces on if you keep being a pushy jerk. Just leave, unless you like pain. Would you like us to give you the same treatment as that monster? <laughs> Damn. Damn, Iffy. Please, uh, don't. Fine, you can have it. <laughs> 
I just found it on the ground anyway. Yeah, that's one way to get it. Just scare the piss out of him. He's gone, but he left something weird behind. Is sure, really sure, you can show me the vid. He said he found it on the ground. Looks like a stick to me. Let's just take it, I guess. Didn't go as planned, huh? It's like a part of the bow. Wisdom bow, lower limb. Didn't he say the aristocrat leaders got a rare item? I wonder what it is. Sir Turquois, right? Worth checking out, at least. Well, we actually have a goal. If he literally hates humans, she's built different. <laughs> aristocrat leader's hobby. Um... We are never going to be able to buy these damn weapons, because they're so expensive. Hey, at least I got a lot of, a lot of items. I'll have to do more grinding off screen, it's fine, I'm, I'm used to it. Micro park. Oh, before I go there, let me save. Oh, 144 times. Oh, long time no see, my sexy mascots. <laughs> I thought my role was over. How have you girls been? I thought my role was over. We actually came to ask a favor. We're looking for an ancient hero's weapon. No if he, if he was going to beat up a guy who's trying to scalp us off. Ho ho, a hero's weapon, eh? You must be talking about the quartet arms. I've been looking for those myself. I had something appraised by a traveling merchant the other day. I thought it was part of the hero Gates' weapon, but no. <laughs> He's being petty. By the way, um, there's a guy, there's a hero named Gates. And you wanna know who he's named after? He's named after Bill Gates. <laughs> I think we met that crooked man. You shouldn't trust what he says at all. Then there's still a chance it's real? Please, take a look at this. It looks like a normal string, but I believe it belongs to the wisdom. <laughs> Bruh. The giant bow used by Gates Bruh. to pierce the heavens. This simple material and shape, it is just as recorded. That's not really enough to know. But if it's true, then the part Mr. Caveman gave us could be real, too. Mr. Caveman. Oh, that's definitely the Wisdom Bow's handle. Now we need the upper limb to complete the bow. Can we borrow the string? You can have the entire bow after we're finished with it. Sure, that sounds like more than a fair exchange. Let me give you sexy things one more tip. Gates is said to have earned tremendous assets from his inventions after fighting the goddess. Love how he's just like extremely casually saying like, All right, you sexy ladies, I hear some information I have to tell you. I heard there's a shrine on Leanbox somewhere dedicated to him. I hope that helps you. We're going to a shrine now. I see. You're saying the last part may be there? You're interfering with my business. Go somewhere else. What? <laughs> what? Did the game just play the wrong voice clip? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I guess some guy talked over him. <laughs> You're interfering with my business. Release from war. The party admires a soldier is about to go to war. Oh, 145 times. Looky, look, there's a big old dip in the ground. It's like a crater. Oh, did a meteor strike here or something? I suspected, yes, this is the site where a meteor fell. Oh, what's up, dude? Where'd the meteor go? It exploded into pieces as it hit the ground. But the crater remains as the world's wound. The world's wound? Compa, do you have a jumbo sized band aid? The damage was spread to the neighboring lands. We're at war with them and facing an economic meltdown. A countrywide order was issued to the citizens to participate in war. I'm on my way to report to duty. Oh, well, good luck. I'll cheer you on from here, I guess. I will too. Don't ever give up the fight. Make sure to come back alive for sequels. <laughs> Thanks. Farewell. He's gone! Oh, 146. 
Let's stay away from this area. True, we need to take a different road. Yeah, I don't want to die yet. Love all these little gag cusses. Hero Shrine. The Hero Gate's Wisdom Bow. The final part said to be in a shrine dedicated to him. Will we be able to find the shrine? The answer is yes. Because there's a cutscene. What is this place? It's all covered in overgrown plants. We might find Gates' shrine up ahead. I'm not sure it's supposed to be that easy. We could take a look, I guess. Do 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 do. Taking a dump. Nap nap, look! A cute monster monster! Let's take a funny picture with it! What's your deal? <laughs> in here with that 146. This is my territory! Get out! Later! Or maybe 147? I don't know. Cute monster? It's running away! Oh, wait! The picture's gonna get all blurry! <laughs> Nep, what are you doing? Get back here! Why is Nep getting distracted by a monster? Oh wow, look at this. Huh? Where are... is this? Wait for us, Nep! Whoa! This is a pretty damn nice looking background. Uh, uh, are you Tora? Oh! <laughs> Looks like we found it. Gates' shrine. Look, there's a pedestal and glass case in the back. Can I open it? I'm gonna. Here I go. Opening it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Nothing happened. 148. No arms or traps? Jeez, you're even making me get worked up. Anyway, it's empty. Wait. It's hard to see in the dark, but there it is. The other half of the bow. It matches perfectly with what we've got. Hell yeah. We got wisdom bow upper limb. We did it. That's the complete gates wisdom bow. Good looking out, Kampa. Hee <laughs> hee. You sure pulled your weight too, Iffy. What's up with praising Kampa? <laughs> I found this place, you know? She wouldn't have seen it if I didn't come here to begin with. Oh, poor Neptune. Obtain Gates' Wisdom Bow. So we have everything now. The Last Battle. Student visit. Her blog updated. Three Valkyrie sisters. That's, oh, that's level 55. That's pretty, it's pretty tough. Alright, last time we're gonna see Greenheart for a while. Some students visited the Basilicom today. They were young, but well-mannered. I must say, I am impressed by our youths. She's very happy. Please be careful. There are more and more monsters on Leanbox. Please stay away from any dangerous areas. Oh, yeah, I think they, they said that in Louis as well, and maybe Last Station. Anyways, I gotta go back to... Louis? For some reason? Oh, right, right. We gotta kick R4's ass. Their arch enemy R4 makes an appearance yet again. However, this time she acts a bit different. The last battle before ascending to Celestia begins. Okay, I guess I'll go back to Louis then. Oh, it's already approaching. I guess that's gonna be our last fight for a little while. This is going to be a bit of a longer episode then, probably, because I, I want to fight R4 and then, you know, I get ready for, you know, the La Celestia travel, you know? <laughs> going to do anything. Um, I was going to see if anybody wanted to join for Book of Mario in a few hours. We'll see, though. We'll see if I, we'll see what happens. Look forward to next time. Do, 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 do. Yay, more stuff. This is probably the worst dungeon because it's almost impossible not to get to get through without getting a second encounter. 
Okay, we got through it that time at least. All right, the last battle. Well, I don't know, but I'm gonna save before we do that. Cause it's probably gonna be tough. Okay. CPU's refusal. <laughs> Everyone returns to Louise Basilicon, but this time with Eastwar in tow. Their mission is to gain support from Whiteheart in order to defeat R4. Lady Whiteheart, some travelers are requesting an audience. Ooh. What would you like to do? <laughs> Speaking of audience, I, well, yeah, I was I wanted to try and see if I can get an audience today. I'm gonna give it another go. We're gonna see if we can get at least like three or four people to watch Book of Mario today. If we can, then um. Then I'll continue Book of Mario on Tuesdays from now on. And if that fails, then, um, me and Seb are just gonna do something. <laughs> I've heard that before. Just bring them in. Yo, Lady Whiteheart. Oh. You seem good and pissy as usual. 146. I am now. Neptune, <laughs> the other two, and you kidnapped a fourth? You're quick, my hungry Esty! We're here today to show Isti off to you. Oh, please. We only met a few weeks ago. I'm glad she said Hasn't felt like a few weeks. idiotic wavelength as you. <laughs> the goddesses are practically a part of me. Tuning into my wavelength is only natural. Anyway, I have some important things to discuss with you today. Will you listen? She's so happy. Make it snappy. Rip and no fire emblem. Uh-huh. So R4 is out to destroy the world with monsters. You believe this, Neptune? Well, naturally. We fought her a bunch of times now. You met her too. Remember Conversacion? She was one of R4's creepy alter egos. Right. R4 is gonna bust up the world. We don't know why yet, but your land's in danger, too. One, what is she going to do after destroying the human world? So pointless. <laughs> Two, the frequent monster attacks and manipulating the guild won't affect the world at large much. But it involved all of us. Please help. Are you gonna ignore this as a goddess? Three, why would I help you? Who preaches about being a goddess when she doesn't even remember her past? Blonde is still like super petty. <laughs> I thought she would turn around, but nope, she she's continue being petty. <laughs> Sorry, but can you leave? I'm not helping you. Aw, oh, bummer. Well that didn't go very well. CPU. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go to all the lands. Resignation. We gotta go to last station lane box now. <laughs> the last battle. Should we do this or no? I think we can fight. I think we have to fight her. Let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> Blonde is extremely petty. We're ready to go to Celestia. Are these weapons really gonna open up a path for us? Kampa, are you doubting the cute little Isti now? She didn't lie about the key fragments. You're right, but she didn't get back to us even once. We ended up finding all of them on foot. It's probably because the weapons were in pieces. It may have caused her research to take a long time. Isti's got so much on her shoulders. If only our force stayed quiet, we wouldn't have to go through all this trouble. There she comes with her funny music, her circus music. <laughs> well, so sorry for not staying quiet. You know, I don't take orders very well. My grandma would say, "Speak of the devil and he shall appear." <laughs> I remember you. She gives no fucks. Barely. Could you have seriously forgotten my face at this juncture? Anyway, you still plan to rebel and listen to Estuar? There is no turning back once you open the path to Celestia. For either of us. Oh, come on, Arfie. <laughs> Arfie. And we're getting amped up about the journey. You're here too early. Arfie, 
Am I a dog now? <laughs> Good to know you're still energetic, because this fight will be different. Let's go, one on one. Are you just trying to stop Nep? Do you really think we'll let you? <laughs> I like her for that. Oh, good, great. Outsiders can stay outside. This is a problem amongst the goddesses to begin with. Whoa! Damn! I, I can't move a single muscle in my body. What'd she do? Oh no! Me neither! Hey now, Arfie! Stop that! <laughs> What'd you do? Let him go! I told you it will be different this time. I've barricaded the area with a simple seal. Enough to restrain their actions. You wanted to face me, right? Alright, let's Settle do it. This, right? Then you better take advantage of this opportunity. Or are you not confident without your little fangirls? How disgusting, Neptune. Damn it, I can't move! Nep, don't worry about us. Hurry and protect Istwar. Y yes Run while you can! How could I leave my buddies behind? Beating R4 is the whole reason we collected the weapons, right? There won't be any chance if I lost you two. Plus, she's right here. What's the point in taking the weapons to Isti? <sighs> Nep is right. <laughs> Splendid! This is getting interesting, as I had hoped. You're really pushing my buttons this time. Don't get mad if I accidentally hurt you really, <laughs> really bad. Even Neptune's getting a little pissed. Shut up. Your powers aren't enough to tickle me. <laughs> Shut this up. This is your final stop, Neptune. Are we actually one of you wanting her? Can we make an exception this time? Oh yeah, we are. Okay. This is, this is interesting. Okay, well, let's, let's, um, am I wearing the, uh, I'm not even wearing the gold bracelet. Well, if I fuck this up, then whatever. What? Oh, my bad. Do that again. <laughs> All right, transform time. She's almost dead, actually. Eat this. It's probably because of my super OP sword. Not bad. Oh boy. Not bad. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, live, please. Oh boy. This one is appropriate. All right. All right, let's do a Neptune break. If I can bring peace to game industry, I might be able to kill her in two I turns. <laughs> Arfi, stop being a Zephy. <laughs> I want to see just how much this does. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I keep doing it. Die now. I've got one less move to show. Damn, damn, okay. Punch. Eat this. Alright, let's do something really fine. Let's kill her with guns. Please move. I'll put an end to this battle. This has to hurt. And last time, last gun. Please move. I <laughs> didn't accept this. How could I? She's what? dead. We won. That was really All fucking right. easy. Level up. <laughs> that was that was extremely easy. What the hell? I was expecting more of a challenge. H how could this be? My power wasn't enough. Don't bug me. Evil will never get what it wants. You see that you're totally the villain here, right? Nep, don't let her go. You've got to finish her off. <sighs> Even if the path to Celestia is open, there's nothing you can do. 
Stop this nonsense. <laughs> you grinded. I guess. That's true. Hey, wait, R4! Wait! Nep, you let her go on purpose. I'm more worried about my fan club. Plus, <laughs> you two owe her a couple of slaps. I didn't want to take your fun away. Can you stand? Let's go say hi to Isti. Yeah, let's go say hi to Isti. Alright. Nope, not, not that. So I hope I hope uh, it doesn't matter what order I did that in. I wonder I forget, how do you get the true ending in this game? Uh Neptunia ending. Let's see. Alright, what is the requirement for the true ending? Um Let's see. Um, it says, in order to restore Neptune's memory, you must go to each landmass and speak with each of the CPUs. <laughs> no let Isti die. Are you saying, don't let Net, don't let Isti die, or let her die? <laughs> well, we haven't gone to Celestia yet. <laughs> to Celestia. I'm gonna make a backup save, just in case. In case I fucked up. Who knows. Alright, so we're gonna go to, um... Let's do last station last. Or, yeah. So let's go to lean box next. Ugh, it's just so annoying to go there because I have to go to- I have to keep doing the fucking tor teleportation. Okay. <laughs> okay, you were joking, I see. <laughs> Let's end this quickly. All right. Well, Red gets more strain time. <laughs> Enjoy your few seconds of screen time, Red. <laughs> she gets even less screen time than Haru does in Persona 5. So to get to the true ending, yeah, you do need to go to each of the... You need to talk to each of the CPUs. Each land is still threatened by monsters. In order to save the world, the team visits Greenheart once more. So you have to you have to get rejected by all of the CPUs. Lady Greenheart isn't here? I'm sorry. She's been out fighting monsters every single day lately. The feminine and gentle Lady Greenheart is fighting monsters? What's going on? I'm not sure. She's been acting different and we're all a little worried about her. I could tell you which dungeon she headed towards if you wish to go and bring her back. Sure. Wait, we actually have to go to a dungeon <laughs> to get her? Okay. Well, in that case, um... Release the seal. Oh, that's that's the thing now. Okay, I think honestly then, I don't feel like doing another dungeon. So I think we'll go do that next time. Since we did just get- we just- we did just build the weapons and everything. And defeat R4 for, like, the second to last final time. We getting Vert next time? Uh, probably not. Here's the thing, Zeppi, if you don't remember. The only way to get the CPUs to join your team is by raising their shares all the way up. And you only get to use them in the final boss fight. Which is really lame. Which means that if I want to, um... If I want to get the best ending, I have to raise everybody's shares up to max. Which is going to take a long time. <laughs> so, yeah. 
In order to recruit the CPUs, you must raise their nation's shares to 70%. And then it says, After this is done, an event will occur which will prompt you to fight the CPU one-on-one -on -one as Neptune in order to make them join. Remember that Neptune or any of the other CPUs dying in battle will decrease their land's share count by 1%. And it says, To get the true ending, you need to recruit all three CPUs and restore Neptune's memory. So what I'm probably going to do off screen is I'm going to, um, well, hang on, let me see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to probably do like the, la the lean box and last station events next time. And then we might do like some dungeons and try and raise the shares. And then after that, I think off-screen, once I'm done with all of that, and we're just preparing to go to Celestia, then I think what I'll start doing is I'll start grinding shares and get them up to 70% so we can have the CPUs join us. I'm thinking that's probably what we'll do, and that way we can get the true ending. So, hope that sounds... <laughs> hope that sounds good. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe me on YouTube and Twitch. And I will see y'all later, so take care.